Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today's just a craft with me. I just thought I'd turn on the camera and have you guys hang out with me while I'm working on something for myself. Um, so I'm making an ephemera holder and I've been wanting to make one for a really long time because I've been cutting up so much ephemera. So I went online and on Amazon, this is two by the way, so I'll fold it like this. I found these little tiny plastic pockets that are a little over an inch by about four and a half inches. So my plan is to glue or to their stickers. So stick them on here and then I'll have an ephemera holder because I didn't want to break out the sewing machine and the vellum or the plastic or whatever and sew around all these little squares. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I got stickers and what made me think of this is back in the day, I don't know if Target still does this, but back in the day I got these at Target and they are plastic sticker pockets as well. So I'm going to use some of these and that's what sparked me to look to see if they had other sizes to which they did this one by four and a half. So what I did was... Um, just to catch you up so you know what I'm up to, I had this old Reader's Digest book that I had already gutted, and I just added some scrapbook paper here on the spine, and then behind the spine is actually a piece of file folder just to make sure that the spine is st stiffer like this. So if I had not added stiffness to my spine, this would be kind of billowing out like this because this is a soft spine book. But because I'm using it as an ephemera holder, I wanted a firm spine. Then I took some stretchy elastic. Ooh, don't you love that? If you have earbuds, you probably hate me right now. And I wrapped that around and then tied it. So now I have six signatures because I didn't want to sew those in either because I'm lazy. So I've been cutting some cardstock. I'm just going to use this craft colored cardstock and I'm going to put two in each uh, thing here. This one's really tight compared to the rest. Let's see if I can't loosen that up a little bit. Well, I'll figure it out later. Anyways, um, so that will be the paper for my book. So that is what I'm working on right now. I'm just going to do two pieces of cardstock per, per signature thing here. So this is a no sew ephemera holder all the way around. Now my first intention was I was just going to make little strips like this and glue them on my paper. Um, but then I decided I didn't want to do that because I found these pockets. So hang out with me and let's chat while I fold some paper. <laughs> That's what I'm up to today. Uh, I just really wanted to do this. So I'm going to. It's a rainy day. It's a Monday. And I often enjoy doing crafts for myself on Mondays. I just, everybody's gone. Well, mostly everybody's gone. Uh, and it's just me and Sherm hanging out. So I really like to do crafts on these days. Yesterday, you guys, oh my goodness, I saw the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I went to my goddaughter's first t-ball game. She's three. Well, she'll be four later this month. So she's almost four. And all the kids were like three years old and they were super tiny. Um, except for my goddaughter. She was... <laughs> She's like towering over all these kids. <laughs> She's going to be catching up to me real soon. Um, and it was so cute. And it was so weird because it's at a park where my kids have played sports. So it's so funny to come full circle and now watch my best friend with her daughter. You know, my kids are done with that stuff. And, you know, to come full circle to come now watch her. Because my best friend had her daughter later in life and I had my kids earlier. So it's just, it's so fun to be able to experience that and watch. Plus, um, my best friend and I have played sports our entire life and softball was a huge part of our lives. Both of our dads um, coached us and um, 
my best friend and her dad before he passed, they both play adult softball as well. So, you know, my BFF has been waiting her whole life to, to watch her daughter or her child play sports. Oops, I'm grabbing things. Go, go back over there. Let's see, how many do I have here? I have, here's two, here's two, here's two. One, two, three, four. This will make five. I need two more pieces of paper. Uh, so anyways, yeah, it was really cute. And then my best friend, this is so funny. So she texted me last, like a week or so ago, two weeks ago, maybe a week. I don't know. Time is like, I, I don't even know anymore. Um, and she's like, oh my gosh, I signed up to help and they made me the coach of her team. And I laughed so hard because I'm like, bro, rookie mistake. You don't ever <laughs> say that you're going to help because they will suck you right in. Um, so she was freaking out, but then they found another parent who was willing to take the lead and then she's assistant coach, which they both just coach. When you have three-year-olds running around trying to play a t-ball game for the first time in their lives, it's like herding cats. And so <laughs> kids are running everywhere. It was so funny. I was like laughing the entire time because it was just the cuteness was real yesterday. And all these parents that are like, you know, it's their kid's first time, so they're, like, all kind of freaking out, and, you know, this one lady is out there on the field with her kid because he's throwing a fit because he wants a snack, and <laughs> it's just, because I've been there, you know what I mean? Like, I have been there, and I've been that parent, and I was like, oh, my goodness. Okay, so I want to cut these. I usually cut these over here, so um, take a look at my book for a second while I go cut these. I'll be right back. Oh, cool. Crap, I'm knocking things over. Ugh. Who put stuff right here? Couldn't have been me. Okay. All right, I'm back. I've got all my papers. Now I want to use my crocodile and I think I'm going to cut all the corners. Oops. Did I not have this open all the way? No. Just because I just want this cute little, why is this not, oh. This is so hard for me to squeeze. First of all, my hand barely, I mean, it looks like it's going around, but it's like my hand is barely wrapped around this because my hands are so small that it's so hard for me to squeeze it. I have to use two hands. Ugh. Stupid fibro. Stupid fibro and tiny hands. Yesterday, for the first time in my life, or not yesterday, Saturday, it doesn't matter. I don't know why it matters. It doesn't. Over the weekend, for the first time in the 18 years Bob and I have lived in this house, I was looking out my kitchen window, and I saw a squirrel going across the fence with a peanut in its mouth, and I just <laughs> had to laugh because, in a weird way, I feel like that was a message from my dad, and I know that sounds weird to some people but my dad's backyard was like he loved it when he had to work from home during covid he would do his meetings outside and everybody was like wow it sounds like like where are you because i just assumed he was somewhere like tropical or something because you could hear all the birds and my dad had like he has bird feeders out there and squirrel feeders and stuff and there's this funny story of when Andrew was little, he was staying the night at my parents' house and they had pancakes for breakfast and it must have been in the summer. I just almost chopped off my baby, my little pinky finger. Um, and they ate them outside because it was a nice day and a squirrel came up and grabbed Andrew's pancake and ran off with it. And it was like a super funny story that we still talk about to this day. That's like the Cliff Notes version of it. Um, it was just super funny. So anyways, I just, I see squirrels all the time, but I have not seen one go across our fence. One, that fence, because it's the one in between me and my neighbor's house. And two, I've never seen one with a peanut in its mouth running. And it just totally made me think of my dad because, oh, I forgot these two. Um, he always had peanuts and stuff out, which my mom still does because my mom's into that stuff too. So, um, 
I just thought that was so funny. I was like, that has to be a sign for my dad. If not, I made it one because it made me think of my dad. And it was just so cute. He had this huge, huge peanut in his mouth. <laughs> it was just the whole shell and everything. It was so cute. Okay, so now I have these. And I decided I was going to put one inside the other. So let's do that. So here's my first one that bad boy in there now I could sew these two pieces together but there's really no point they're gonna stay in there they're not gonna come out and that way if I decide I want to change things up or add more I can I mean I could if I sewed them too but I don't know this is just easier and it's fine especially once I get everything in there oh, wait did I do two on that one? Oh yeah I did okay in here I thought about inking the edges of these two and I thought no I just don't want you know I don't know maybe I will down the road okay we got these two this is cute And last one. And then I get to put my stickers on. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Who doesn't like using stickers? Even better when it's a pocket sticker. Okay. Let's get that in there. All right. So now here's my book. Let me just kind of rearrange these, which I'll do all the time. Probably every time I open up this book. So there's that. And then here's the bottom. Let's move these around. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing or not, but okay. So then you open it up and you have this. And now I can add all my little pockets and stuff. Okay, so let's do that. That sounds like fun. Maybe I should have added those before I put them in the book, but I don't know. Okay, so, hmm. How do I want to do this? How close to the bottom? What if I don't get it straight? You know what, I'm just going for it. It's not that big of a deal, Nicole. You got this. Okay, whoo, this is sticky. So I think I'll put it about, oh my gosh. Does it have to be perfect? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, oh, you can see where my finger was. All right, so there's my first one. First sticker is in. And then see, it'll go like this. I'll grab these little, these little chickadees for an example. So now there's this little pocket right here. And now I can put my chicks in there. And this is not coming up. This is sticky. So look how cute that'll be. Is it crooked? Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get through this? Okay, and then I have these stickers too, which I hope this isn't reflecting onto my face because I look like you know what today. Um, yeah, so I could put these too. I could put, yeah, I was thinking I could put this here and then maybe put like a card that says what my name is and stuff. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I spit on it already. Jeez. All right, guys, let's add some more. Oh, here, I have this one. Okay, so I was kind of thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna take these out while I do this. I think it'll just be easier for me because uh, we all know how I am. And then I wonder if I have this out. This is what I tripped over earlier. I was wondering if maybe if I went like this, it would be easier for me and then use my a ruler, wherever that went, it was sitting right here. Here it is, okay. So I have that one there. So what if I put another one right here? Let's see, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right, I made it almost. Okay, so I have seven and a half. It doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put different things. So I think I'll just put three on here and I think I'll go up. Yes, no, I wanna go down just a little bit. There we go, okay. Now I'm cooking with peanut oil. So I'll put this one right here. 
Look, you don't have to be this precise. You can 100% eyeball it if you want. Um, you know how I am, I'm a nut. Okay, wait, do I want it right here? Cause that would only leave, yes I do, okay. Let's put it right, ah, no! Okay, sorry if I yelled in your ear, I'm sorry. Just you know how I am. Okay, there we go. Um, it's going down, boom, it's down. Okay, there we go. Man, these are sticky. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so this one was, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And then I think I'll just put this one right here. Okay. So in this pack, I got 30 of them. I got 30 of these and I can't remember how much I paid, but I will put a link for these in the description box down below in case you're interested. Because especially for those of you who don't want to sew anything in, ooh, that would have to be pretty small, wouldn't it? Let's go down a quarter of an inch. Okay, that's what we'll do. Ooh, my mother-in-law came over yesterday and she brought me some, what do you call it? Uh, Golden Girls pot holders. So that was really fun. That was a nice surprise. Okay, that looks really good. So then I can just put my things in there. Love it. Okay, so then I have this page. I think I'll start with one of these down here. Go over. Oh my gosh, why do I have to make everything so perfect? It's really not that big of a deal. There. Okay, so this is a bigger pocket, Let's see, for taller things that I want to put in. So I probably won't use too much of those because I don't have a ton of like taller things, so to speak, but anyways, you know. Okay, so I think I'll put one, I'm just going to move that for now, one of these right here. And there's no rhyme or reason to where I'm putting these, by the way, because I have all different size sizes of stuff, you know, to put in these. So I'm basically just eyeballing it. Okay. There we go. So we have two on that page. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. All right. I'm going to have this. Okay, so let's put some more of these down. Let's see, I liked how that, where this one was, so let's do that again. And where did it go? Can I just have one? These are empty, 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 okay. Okay, so let's put this right here. This is so fun. I guess I could remember where I put each and every one of these, but oh well. Okay. That one and I need one more. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put this one. Oh, that's gone too. Wow, it's crazy how fast you go through these when you're <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. Oh no, these are stuck together. Ugh. go okay the 
this probably isn't necessary, but I don't know. It just makes me feel like I'm really getting it pressed down. Okay, so there's those. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, gosh, I need to cut down a little bit, I think. Okay, okay. So let's see how this will look. Okay, well, now I'm gonna take all these, oops, oh boy, oh boy, what am I doing? Going ham. I'm gonna take these out because one, it's easier to work with them out. And then I can see, you know, what I need. Okay. So let's put these back in. I'm just going to put one of each first and then see. No, that's a lie. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put two. Oops, go back over there. There's one. Nope, I'm gonna put two. Well, let's do one first. I'll do one for each, because there's six, and then I can go back through and add the others. Because I wanna see if that'll be enough just to have one per signature. You know what I mean? Because once I start filling this up and stuff, and then I can put the extras in the back. So super cute. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun watching me uh, struggle with making things straight. <laughs> And I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Happy Monday. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.